What's up, everybody? Emperor John Kill 3D Gaming here, and this is going to be a three part review because this is the first time that I've actually been able to sit down and play the Mass Effect trilogy, the original trilogy. Now, all I have to say is each section that we do, like each of these three part videos, is going to be based on each one of the games. My personal history with Mass Effect is I, I never fell into the Mass Effect hype. I didn't play it in its heyday. I only played Part 3 and Andromeda, which I know people have strong opinions against or support. But, where do I stand on the trilogy as a whole? You know, now that we're away from back when Mass Effect 3 had a huge controversy, back when Andromeda had a facial animations controversy, how was Mass Effect 1 and 2? and three in this package together well let's start off with mass effect one now i've tried to play mass effect one recently on backwards compatibility for the xbox and i can tell that the game was aged for its time it had a lot of its old guard bioware rpg aspects which wasn't bad it's just for some reason i guess i didn't get into it now with this more refined version of mass effect one i like mass effect one mass effect one feels very much like a how do i say this each game in the trilogy has a different vibe to me it they give off a different vibe and a different tone and feeling so if i was to categorize um mass effect one as i will categorize the other ones this one is more of a inner this is like the most interstellar adventure feeling of them if that makes any sense this is like the first time we're really introduced to this world, to its characters, and events, plot details, plot lines, stuff that all goes throughout the trilogy that flows depending on the actions you've made, and depending on dialogue choices, depending on characters you've come across, depending on how your loyalty to certain companions can be, could overall affect some cutscenes so affect some character dialogue, character situations, character moments. I like that. I like that the fact that I can play this game again. Like I've played it once on my own, you know, in my free time. Now I'm playing it again for these reviews, and I have to say that I like that unknown. I like seeing where my choices lead me. I know there's certain points in this game, there's already certain set events, like there's set options that already have to happen, like uh, story moments. There's certain story moments that have to play out that you cannot affect, like certain character deaths, or you can be put in a decision where it's only a two-way street, either a character will live or die, or your decision could prevent a character from getting killed, and overall helping you develop this relationship that you will with each of the characters and that is one of Mass Effect's strongest points is its characters like Garrus my right hand man Garrus has been my man throughout the whole trilogy as my right hand fighter now the character customization versus its 360 port and this one this one feels like they've taken elements from Mass Effect 2 and 3 to try to improve this one. The character customization is a lot more refined. You can choose the different classes and they feel very effective. Personally for me, I went with the Soldier class because that was the class I first started with when I started Mass Effect 3 for the first time back in 2012. But you get to cycle through the different character looks. You know, there might not be thousands or hundreds of options but there's a handful of options to at least craft the character that you're gonna see imported to Mass Effect 2 and 3 which that's another thing I like about Mass Effect when you craft your character your character I know there's a standard um, Commander Shepard character uh, a male and a femme Shep but I'm not a big fan of 
preset characters, if that makes any sense. Now, there's certain games where I don't mind a preset character. Now, here, the only thing that's preset is your last name, Shepard, but you get to customize your name, you get to customize your looks, customize what abilities and class you want to be, and then when you go into this world, you, as yourself, almost, making these decisions really feels like you are part of this world. Now, you could spend a good amount of time in this character creator because there's at least different options between hair, eyes, facial features, facial reconstruction, you know, depth, um, obviously the different colors, scars, and a little code at the bottom that you can upload to either, I think it's the Mass Effect, I think there's a website, if I remember correctly, there's a website you can go to that you can rip your character from the website and import them to other games, but the good thing with this collection is your character can automatically import, if you've done Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2, and Mass Effect 3, good thing is you can import them all over to the other games, unaltered, the way you had them, the way they look, even their skill level passes over, and whatever you've earned, such as weapons, currency, XP, I like that it all crosses over. It feels natural. It feels that you have made a sense of progression in each game. So, now with that, with character customization being very good, like I said, this, this I liked. I like the aspect of this character creator. It really made me feel that I was part of this world alongside these characters and that's the one thing about this game is that the designs of the different races the designs of even e each human character each human character is distinct on their own yeah maybe some similar faces but think about it. this is an this is a, I believe an 07 game being somewhat remade for the modern era so it's got a lot of old guard RPG stuff and gameplay things that people might seem old but you know what? I like stuff like this especially when it's refined now it's combat it's combat is a cross between uh, an RPG and an action third-person shooter with a little bit of Gears of War when it comes to its cover based system so it's very easy though to get lost that's the one thing I can say is it has the old school RPG effect of you need to find everything. And I like that though. It's tough at first because you're not going to think so because you're going to get thrown into certain missions where it's straightforward. Then you're going to get thrown into certain missions where you need to go around and, you know, backtrack. But I don't mind backtracking because I always find something different. It has that old school um, Elder Scrolls feel where if you go off the beaten path, you could find something like in this game. I went out my way to try to find every document, every intel, every weapon, anything I could find to help my arsenal or to bring up my XP. And now I want to get into one thing that I feel, like I said before, was its strongest aspects. It's characters and it's villains. In this game, you will begin to see how your choices will bring all these characters throughout the trilogy together like from the likes of Ashley to Garrus to Rex certain characters you meet later you know Liara and you could also see this is what I gotta say about this also this game handles the Mass Effect games in general but you really see it here handles re the relationship system well it's like all its mechanics from its relationship to its combat which its combat is really good action rpg shooter i like it you know i can't go on guns a blazing i have to think a little bit but i really liked the interactions i was having with the characters i could tell who i wanted my character to have affections with and this is what i one thing i have to say what modern day obviously what modern day journalists and people won't tell you this game mass effect as a series as a whole effectively was able to add diversity in the right way and i know nowadays that's an excuse for studios to do shit stupid but here bioware was able to do it way before all this bullshit culture took over and what do i mean by that there's a character for every sexual orientation whether you're straight gay bisexual you know the nine yards mass effect allows you 
to develop a relationship with who you want. Okay? You want to be with one of the female characters? That's fine. You want to be with one of the male characters? That's, you know, that's you. You want to play as the female character? If you're a female, if you want to play as the female character and go for the male, that's you. And if you want to have the two girl female characters, that's fine. That's the thing about BioWare. BioWare is successful in crafting chemistry. They were able to craft good reasons for these characters to develop emotions and feelings and it's worth seeing the adventure. I mean prim primarily me, the three chicks that I've gone with throughout the series is Ashley, Liara, and Miranda and not in that particular order. Now I'm gonna see if I can go back and get the other female characters but the way this game just brings this intergalactic struggles you know politics which it's funny how we, we talk about this how today and like currently now in 2021 everybody's fighting all about politics everybody's fighting about identity everyone's fighting about diversity everyone is fighting about shit that a video game was able to successfully implement almost there were 20 was well, about yet yeah, from 2007 to 2012 this trilogy mass effect was able to do what most modern gamers modern journalists and most modern reviewers fail at and that is using politics using diversity and using characters to tell its story in the right way there's no messaging in this game which is oh my god it's a breath of fresh air that I can play something as a guy and not feel like I'm being beaten over the head with a message you really feel the sense that these races want to work together in this game the the many different alien races but everyone like always has political differences different political views but it's funny how you talk about politics today <laughs> it could cause an uproar of debate but if you talk about Mass Effect's politics it's intriguing you get invested you want to figure out where do the humans play a role it, where they feel their role in this universe and alongside you as Commander Shepard you know it's up to you to also find your role in this world alongside these characters because what you do in this game will highly affect what could happen by two or three and my journey was like I was in awe because I don't have the hype crutch that people had at the time for the series I'm playing it with an with an open lens yes I've done my research I know there was a controversy with the end of the trilogy but I'm not gonna get to that until I get to part three but what I do like at the end of the day and what I think this game does really well is its galactic exploration it's for compared to at least two and three space is bigger you go to different galaxies and you do in this one as well but it's much easier to tell where you need to go when you're at least in the space map you know your hub will be your ship the Normandy which I feel the Normandy stands alongside all these great sci-fi ships hell to me the Normandy is like luxury living in space even though I know it's military and all that, I still like the Normandy. I, I, I went out my way, especially in the other games, to upgrade the Normandy. But I just liked going around, talking to everybody, exploring the ship, exploring the different conversation options with all my companions. And one more thing I actually forgot to notice. Uh, not forget to notice. They implement what is like a hacking system where you need to hack into certain terminals and you hack into certain... Um, crates and boxes to get things you normally wouldn't be able to get which is nice and it's instead of going around to find a key you do a simple button prompt which gets you involved with what you're doing and I like that a lot you you feel more involved than what you would do let's just say Skyrim where you're just turn it to the left with the bobby pin spin the thing around or if you have a skeleton key just turn the joystick I mean that's I love I love Elder Scrolls, but I gotta say what it is. But Mass Effect One, in this form being re like being built from the ground up, 
has a completely... It feels like a new game to me. Feel, well, I mean, it is for me. But it feels like an experience that I can't wait to go through for the rest of the series. So, that was my... Re this is Mass Effect The Legendary Collection Review Part 1, Mass Effect, the original. And I like it. I give this game, despite a couple hiccups that they have along the way, um, it's a solid 8 experience. If you don't have the collection so far, pick it up, like, subscribe, favorite, and I'll check you in the next video.